The following tutorial was done as part of the Prace IP3 project. Title, The Efficiency Parse Matrix Vector Multiplication on General Purpose Graphic Processing Units. The aim of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to choose the best method of sparse matrix vector multiplication to particular sparse matrix, assuming that calculations are based on general purpose graphics processing units. The tutorial is divided into four parts. Brief definition of sparse matrix and sparse matrix vector multiplication. The overview of sparse matrix storing formats. And how to choose the most efficient multiplication method for particular sparse matrix. If you are familiar with sparse matrices you can skip the introduction and fast forward to 5.05 minute right to the concluding part of the presentation. Sparse matrix definition. The most logical sparse matrix definition says that it is matrix mainly populated with zeros. Numerous problems lead to sparse matrices. Systems of linear equations are usually represented by sparse matrices and the most often are derived from discrete scheme of differential equation. Also eigenvalue problems and the variety of graph algorithms take advantage of this kind of matrix representation. Sparse matrices appear across many scientific fields and are widely applied in quantum chemistry, weather forecast and even Google PageRank algorithm. A typical sparse matrix consists of thousands or millions of columns and rarely exceeds 100 non-zero elements per row. Applications as new octave can generate so-called sparsity pattern. It is a graphic display of non-zero matrix elements, regardless of its values, as shown on the figure. On the official website of the University of Florida, we can find sparse matrix collection, which is interesting both in terms of the amount of collected matrices and their real-life applications. Sample matrices from this source will be used in further analysis. The multiplication of sparse matrix and dense vector is called SPMV. Following basic linear algebra subroutine terminology, SPMV is the second level numerical operation according to its numerical complexity. It is the main computational part in most cases where sparse matrices appear. On modern, throughput oriented computing architectures, SPMV operation efficiency is mainly dependent on data organization in computational device memory. Proper organization of data enables coalesced memory reads and at the same time it increases memory bandwidth and generates maximum efficiency. The most obvious SPM storing format is COO, a coordinate format. In COO, information about row index, column index, and value of each non-zero element is stored in three one-dimensional arrays. Unfortunately, in most cases, such storing scheme leads to storage of identical sequences for row index. This causes memory overhead. CSR acronym stands for Compressed Sparse Row. Format reduces storage overhead of its predecessor by replacing row index array with so-called row PTR array which on JTH place stores number of all preceding non-zero elements. ELL. For n times m sparse matrix with maximum k non-zero elements in the row, ELL holds data as two dense matrices. Value matrix of size n times k holds non-zero elements filling in less occupied rows with zeros, while column index matrix holds corresponding column indexes. Usually, it is three times faster than COO format, but it is much more memory consuming. Hybrid format is a combination of the ELL and COO formats, which reduces ELL, potentially unacceptable storage overhead, and benefits from eight speed on GP GPUs. CMRS, Compressed Multi-Row Sparse Format. The key idea behind compressed multi-row storage is to reduce CRS's low SPMV performance for matrices with relatively short rows. It groups shorter rows into strips and processes them simultaneously. Data storage requires four arrays. Two of them are the same as in CRS, the array denoting the first elements of each strip and the last array locates rows within a strip. Our exemplary matrix in CMRS format looks as follows. Many other storing formats have been developed. To mention just a few of them. The most popular library used as benchmark for our own implementations is Cusparse library, provided by NVIDIA. It supports COO, CSR, CSC, ELL, and hybrid sparse matrix format. Open source alternative is Cusp library. 
It provides sparse linear algebra and graph computations on CUDA enabled GPGPUs. How to choose the best sparse matrix storage format for SPMV operation. Let's consider a set of 132 example matrices from the University of Florida SPM collection and five methods for SPMV. For each of the 132 matrices, the time of SPMV operation was measured for every of five SPMV methods. The fastest multiplication method is chosen along with two features, mean number of non-zero elements and number of rows. Table with data can be found in bibliography. It includes double and single precision as PMV on NVIDIA K20 and GTX 408B. We create a plot on which the x-axis demonstrates the number of non-zero elements, whereas the y-axis displays the number of particular rows of the matrix. Color of points indicates the fastest sparse matrix multiplication method. As can be seen from the graph, the two parameters taken under consideration helps us to choose the best SPMV method for a particular matrix. It is clearly visible that the colors of the points representing SPMV methods separate from each other. Although it's not a universal rule, it can be very helpful in determining which method can be used best for multiplying matrices arising in particular scientific problem. Thank you for your attention.